Hello, my name is Adam Bracewell. I am a father, I am a relationship and family therapist, and I'm also a man of God. Love, lust, and the Lord is my mission and my ministry. Our motto is preparing you for who God has prepared for you. It is my true and honest belief that everyone has a spiritual soulmate. And as we journey through life toward that individual, we learn different lessons along the way. Love, lust, and the Lord is only my lessons that I've learned during my journey, and I have the privilege to bring them to you. So I hope someone is blessed, and I hope someone is touched by what I've learned as I walk towards my spiritual soulmate. Hello, my name is Adam of Bracewell, and today I wanted to speak to you about a thought that I had. And that thought basically was, just because you're telling her the truth doesn't mean that you're being fair to her. You see, when I was younger, I had a certain way of meeting ladies. Up front, I'll tell them, listen, I'm not looking for a relationship. But the crazy thing about that is that I will turn right back around and act exactly like I was her man. But what's even crazier than that? I'll turn back around and try to blame her or shame her for developing feelings based on what I was doing to her or doing for her. So I had to learn a very important lesson. And that lesson basically was just because you told her the truth doesn't mean that you was being fair. You see, a lot of men believe that by telling a woman up front that you're not looking for a relationship and letting your desires to stay single be known, that he's totally exempt of whatever occurs on the back end. Men believe that we can wine and dine a woman. We believe that we can spend quality time with a woman. We even think that we can have sex with a woman on a regular basis. But we always want her to remember what we told her in the beginning. Listen, I told you I was not looking for a relationship. You see, us guys are very quick. We're very, we're always the first ones to say women are emotional creatures. But the thing about that is we have absolutely no problem manipulating those emotions when it benefits us. But when those emotions turn against our agenda, that's when the problem occurs. So basically I have three points that I want to make. And these points are for the men. The first point is stop it. Stop playing with women's feelings. Stop playing with women's emotions. Wrong is wrong no matter how we slice it. As simple as that. The second point is you're inviting into your life exactly what you're trying to avoid. When you play with a woman's feelings, when you play with her emotions, the things that you're trying to avoid like drama, high emotions, high reactions, arguments, it's inevitable. It will happen. So if you want to avoid those things, if you want to keep those things out of your life, try not manipulating someone's feelings. And maybe you won't have to deal with that. The third thing is find someone that has the same agenda as you. If you encounter a lady and you know that you do not want a relationship, but she does, just end it right there. There's no, no no need to move on in a relationship with trying to talk to her or trying to court her or trying to go out on dates because you two are going on two different paths. Now, my last point is for the ladies. Ladies, stop trying to be like men. God did not design you like that. You are not able to be wined and dined. You are not able to have sex on a regular basis with a man. You're not able to spend quality time with a man without developing some tight, close emotions to him. So stop lying to yourself and stop lying to him. Stop trying to fit his agenda because you're scared that you're going to miss out on the opportunity to be with him. So that's all that I have to say tonight. I hope that I inspired somebody. I hope I gave you something to think about. If you want to hear more from me, if you want to read more of my messages, you can find me on my Facebook. You can like the page www.facebook.com backslash love, lust, 
Lord. Thank you.